welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again with a new episode of My Damn Hauls. I feel like it's been quite a minute since we got a My Damn Hauls episode in here, but I think we do have a fan mail package right here, and then we do have one piece of evidence. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I, I looked at the, I, you know, when you think a piece of, I thought of evidence. It's like, you know, this piece of evidence here in the case. So that's just what came to my mind. Plus, this is like a manila or vanilla envelope, and usually, you know, they keep evidence in these things. So you know what? Piece of evidence. But anyways, guys, we do have two packages here that I'm excited. This one right here, the fan mail package is super heavy. I don't know what's in there. We're going to find out together. I can't wait to crack that open. And then, of course, we do have this one right here, and we might as well just go ahead and get straight into it. Now, I do have another package coming probably today, but my mail, for some reason, doesn't run until like 4 p.m., and I don't want to have to wait till 4 p.m., so I guess maybe we can get another My Damn Halts in the next couple days. I don't know. We'll have to see. By the way, Vindication should be up either tomorrow tomorrow or the next day. I thought it was going to be last Thursday, but family came into town on the weekend, and then it just trickles effect, and then I get behind, and I run out of time, and I've been up till like 3 a.m. every day, and getting up at like 5.30, so I'm doing my best, man. We're getting there. It takes a full day to edit, and I'm literally on the last thing to do for the show, so we'll get started on that editing process, but let's dive into our first package, guys. This does come to us from eBay, so you guys know the only way to crack open packages is with the good old... Trusty knife. Yeah! That was a pretty good stab right there. Pretty good football stab, not gonna lie to you. So pretty much, you guys pretty pretty much already know what this is because I mentioned it, but it is the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt basic figure, as you guys can see. Now the reason I picked this up, you're probably like, Brad, you already had one of those, and you would be correct. I have had one of these already, but you guys know that we did customize it to make my own brother's figure, so we made the beard darker and we painted the eyes, and so I needed one that was just like the old Bray Wyatt figure, and this is way better than the ringside exclusive figure, which is over here. This basic figure figure crushes the ringside exclusive elite in my opinion and it's just way better it's better scale it's just like look at that right there that is absolutely terrible but yeah i wanted to put this back in my collection since i customized this one and what i'm thinking about doing is just breaking this guy down for parts and then putting this head sculpt over on this body and then putting my brad figure head on a actual custom brad figure elite body but that is our first package nothing too crazy off ebay really good deal that i got on that figure so i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and grab that while i can and since i customized that head you get the explanation. Gonna get this out of the way now. This package right here is some fan mail. I got hit up in the email and they wanted to send us some fan mail and I'm really excited to get in here now. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive in here and pull out whatever we feel. It feels like we have another box inside this box. What is this right here? Okay, so we have a Bootios Toys R Us 3-pack box it seems. Nothing else in there. So I'll get this out of my face. I remember when I saw this thing at retail. I don't know I don't know what's all in here, but we're going to open up the Velcro right here and just see what it looks like. Oh my God in heaven, we got a bunch of stuff going on in there. So, I guess we're just going to crack this thing open. We do have a note here that I'm going to read aloud to the class. It says, hey MDT, I've been a fan for two or three years now and I wanted to send you this as a thank you. RKO the like button, 619 the subscribe button, and F5 the bell notification. He's actually correct, guys, because did you know that 75% of you that watch my videos aren't even subscribed? That is an absurd statistic. What are, are you serious? So 619 the subscribe button, and please turn on the bell for notifications. Hit the subscribe button, Brad. If you're going to be here, you're going to enjoy the videos, you might as well subscribe so you get them in your box all the time and they don't just show up in the record. Recommended. They'll pop up in your subscription box every morning when you wake up. Hit the subscription box. MDT video right in your face right there. Most of this is supposed to be crowd and fodder. If there was one match that you could make, what would it be? I would watch a dream match of Kenny Omega versus Rey Mysterio. First of all, Kenny Omega versus Rey Mysterio would be an excellent, that'd be a fantastic match. I think they would absolutely, that's five stars right there. Who's sending me messages? Okay. This question and fan mail package does come to us from Landon. So I really, really appreciate this, Landon. Thank you so much. I'm going to put this in the MDT 
MDT egg with all of my fan mail. I really appreciate it. This is excellent. There's a ton of stuff in here. I can't wait to see what we got. But a match that I could make, what would it be? If I could pick any match, for some reason, I really, really want to see Seth Rollins and Kenny Omega. And I also want to see a, like, triple threat match between Finn Balor, Kenny Omega, and AJ Styles. And do, you know, all the Bullet Club leaders going one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. I think that is just beautiful, and I'd love to see that. But Rey Mysterio versus Kenny Omega would also be a really good football game to watch. But let's dive into this package, guys. Let's see what we got, and let's find out what Landon sent us here today. The first up is the first ever, first time in the line, Enzo Amore from the Big Cast and Enzo Amore Battle Pack. I remember this came out when I was a sophomore or junior in college, and I remember ordering this off eBay, and when I came home from school, this was on my doorstep, and that's just the memory I get from this figure. But a really cool figure. I appreciate that. Next up, guys, it's going to be a basic Kurt Hennig figure or a Mr. Perfect figure. Perfect crowd fodder right here. Excellent arms for Dean Ambrose. You got some other things going on. A lot of people actually want Kurt Hennig head sculpts, so maybe we can figure out something for that. Oh my God in heaven, Brad. He sent us an Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler. Now, this is something you love to see. Dolph Ziggler is one of my favorites. Torso may be a little bit loose there, but that's what he was saying. He was talking about how it was supposed to be fodder anyway, so that will be perfect. And it has the small arms, and I can use this crotch piece for some customs and the legs and the boots. So, huge shout out to Landon for that one. Next up, guys, is going to be a basic zombie AJ Styles, and I actually needed this hoodie, so there you go. The, the hoodie works out perfectly. Very, very nice zombie figure of AJ Styles. We have a zombie Undertaker. I don't did, I don't remember if I own this one or not. I know I, I think I own the AJ Styles. I can't remember if I've owned the Undertaker one before, but it's really cool. Before we got the basic 100 head sculpt, I always wanted to take this head sculpt and repaint it to make that basic 100 head sculpt, but now it would be now it would be pointless, but still pretty fire. Next up, guys, we have a Zeb Coulter Basic. I have never owned a Zeb Coulter Basic until just now. Never done it. Always thought his, his facial hair was super fire. Really sick. Never owned Zeb Coulter before, so that is a first time in the collection. We have a basic Ziggler boot and a knee pad. We have a basic Zack Ryder. Now, this is an old basic Zack Ryder. Holy crap. Look at those tights, man. Really good arms right here. You could use these arms for Miz. You could use these arms for Seth Rollins. You could use this head sculpt and paint it up, make a custom guy. We have an Elite Brodus Clay, and I've never owned an Elite Brodus Clay before. Absolutely fantastic. We are getting a lot of first time in the MDT collection here. I've never owned a Elite Brodus Clay whatsoever. I don't think I've ever owned a Brodus Clay, period. So this is really cool. Love these boots. You can put these on a Carl Anderson, make a really cool fix up with it. Really awesome Brodus Clay figure. We got a Dolph Ziggler head sculpt in here. Elite 19 Ziggler head sculpt. We have the Macho Man WrestleMania basic. I don't know if it's the WrestleMania basic, but it is based off his WrestleMania 3 attire, if I'm not mistaken. Really beautiful pink trunks. We have another Dolph Ziggler boot. We have a wood palette. Another thing I've never owned. I think this came in a specific battle pack. I want to say it was Triple H and Brock Lesnar. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But this can definitely come in handy. I can use this in a lot of different ways on the channel, especially the pick fed. We have another large knee pad. We have some Dolph Ziggler arms. It looks like Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler arms. We got a Elite 39 Ziggler shirt. You love to see that. It's too bad. I'm too good. I actually own that shirt. We have a trash Corbin, Brad. Now, why would you send me this trash? I'm just kidding, but seriously, that's funny. I'm, I'm sure he knew what he was doing when he sent me this one. Gotta get the Trash Corbin Elite in there. Look at him. That's why you're loosey-goosey trash. But seriously, I'm always excited to expand the collection. Doesn't matter if it's the Trash Corbin collection or if it's any other part of the collection. You love to see another Trash Corbin make its way. Need to make a new version of the Trash Corbin, or maybe we could turn this guy into a different version of Trash Corbin. Maybe Dumpster Corbin. Put him in the other trash can back there in the backstage area. Next up, guys, is going to be a O. Oh, Oh my God in heaven, it is a mutant Brock Lesnar figure. Another figure I have never owned before. I don't even think I've owned any of those uh, mutant figures, but this one is super sick, man. That is so sick. I've never felt this in hand, but it's a really cool figure. Holy crap, man. This is awesome. This is sick. I love this. This is really awesome. I love the sculpt on this thing. I've never held one of these mutant figures before. I never bought them at retail. Pretty damn solid. You got the ankle articulation. You got 
the alien feet and the shins. He's got calf rotation. All this articulation in the arms. I mean, that's better than some elite figures we get, man. That's sick. We got a little Harley Quinn uh, light fixture accessory. Very, very nice. My brother actually owns a massive Harley Quinn collection. So we have a Road Dog Basic. Be a perfect formula for a head sculpt of Jeff Jarrett, if you guys were wondering. There you go. We have a AJ Styles Elite 66 shirt. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin Hall of Fame Elite shirt. We also put some freaking MDT confetti in here. Oh, snap. MDT pink confetti. Next up is going to be a basic Undertaker. So it's basically the basic version of Elite 23 Undertaker. Very nice. Oh my God in heaven. Elite 39 Sting? What a gem. Thank you, bro. Can absolutely use this, man. Thank you so much to Landon. This is an absolute piece right here. What? What a great piece. I remember I found this at retail. Never seen it since. I, I still own my Elite 39 Sting. Saw it at retail one time when I first really got into collecting the Mattel WWE Elites. It's probably one of the first ones that I bought at the store because they got Elite Series 39 and I bought Ziggler and Sting and have not seen it since. So this is the second time I've ever seen this figure in person. Next up, guys, is going to be a basic Undertaker with the great arms on there. Short head sculpt. Kind of like a basic version of the WrestleMania 32 Elite Undertaker. Next up is a Tyson Kid Basic and this is actually the basic that we used to make our Seth Rollins fix-up figure. If you guys remember that, the Top Talents fix-up with the yellow and black tape. And then we also have a Cody Rhodes head sculpt, which is also beautiful to see. Actually, that's an updated Cody Rhodes head sculpt now. Need to put that on the AEW figure, see what it looks like. We have, what is this? Is this a mini trash can? Oh, dude, this is so sick. Oh, dude, is this a mini, is this supposed to be a mini soda or is this a mini trash can? Because either way, it's sick as hell because I can use it as a mini trash can in the fed. Next up is, what is this? 619, is this Iron Man? I do love Iron Man. What is this? Ray? Oh my goodness gracious alive. Will these fit though? I know these are, that's a, okay, so you gotta have the backstory on this. He hand delivered, you know it's kind of badass? It kind of looks like a shoe box. So it kind of looks like we got a box, you know, like, you know when you get new shoes and they're like in the packaging like this and you know you open up the shoe box? This is what this reminds me of. That's so badass. I, I'm gonna use this as a shoe box, dude. That's so cool. So you have the shoe box and he has the Bonefoot Rey Mysterio replacement feet, but these are basic feet. Will they work? We'll try it. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, I'm not sure if these feet will actually work for Rey Mysterio, but I love the idea. If you were, if he's trying to, you know, replace the foot on Bumfoot Rey Mysterio, any longtime fan of the channel knows Bumfoot Rey Mysterio. Fam the comment section right now about Bumfoot Mysterio. If you guys remember Bumfoot Rey Mysterio, only OGs remember Bumfoot Rey Mysterio. Oh, he left a note here. It said feet for Bumfoot Rey. There it is, man. That's so freaking cool. Unfortunately, these are basic feet. We need an elite foot. I don't think I can make it work like because this foot, they don't have the same feet here, but God, man, that's so cool. That's so awesome. I love the I love the effort put into that. So the search for the bum foot continues for Rey Mysterio, but I am going to hold on to this box and use this as a shoe box or something. That was really cool, man. Thank you so much for the effort there, but we do need an elite Rey Mysterio foot, but that is hilarious, man. That is, that is excellent. And besides confetti, I think that is going to do it for our massive fan mail package of crazy stuff. I want to give another huge shout out to Landon for this epic package. Thank you so much, man. It means a lot to me to have fans that want to send me this stuff and, you know, see future videos with this stuff and do things like donating the Rey Mysterio feet. You guys are absolutely amazing and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart to Landon for the epic package and all you guys that have ever sent fan mail. You guys are the absolute best. We're going to get used to all of this on the channel, whether it be some surgery eventually, crowd members eventually, videos in the future. We will definitely get some stuff out of this. Huge shout out to Landon again for the epicness. Love the shoebox and the Rey Mysterio feet. That is hilarious. But I think that is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But I think I'm going to get out of here and finally go wrap up Vindication so that I can edit all day tomorrow. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out again to Landon for the epic package. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.